of Norway Way of the Dragon from 1922 starring Bruce Lee. Well, in this movie, the talk, the fight, the talk, the, the fight, you, you get the idea. So I'm going to give this movie 10 out of 10 because as much talk as action, so little bit everything to everybody, and Bruce Lee is one of my favorite actors as well. He put it in the big boss and then can feast the fur and this movie and enter the dragon and so on and so forth. So this is the way of the dragon, 1922 gets 10 out of 10 because this is the best Bruce Lee movie in my opinion. And, and this is better than Enter the Dragon in my opinion as well. So go see Way of the Dragon 1922 if you want to be internet is 10 out of 10 movie best ever. I cannot desc describe those facts is it. Bruce Lee fuck with nunchakus and wooden stick and stuff like that and he, he beats the bad guys asses in the different fight skins and you won't get bored for watching this movie. So God's movie if to be internet it's then not the movie the best ever and Jackie is not in way of the dragon, I don't know far but But Zook Norris is in Way of the Dragon and Bob Valdi, Karate Champions of America. As a matter of fact, Bruce Lee fights about Bob Valdi and Zook Norris, and Zook Norris fight is the end fight, and Bruce Lee pretty much owns his ass. Which means beats him up, and well, that end fight alone is. One of the best fights he's in, obviously in my life, and the restaurant fights they were impressive as well. So go to see Way of the Dragon 1922 if you want to be entered, it's 10 out of 10, the, one of the best movies I've seen in my life, and best Bruce Lee movie in my opinion. And But the way did you know that Bruce Lee started as a child actor in drama movies? His first movie was in 1941 and real life Bruce Lee was born in 1940, so he was only one years old in that movie. For the 50s came so many drama movies, The Kid from 1950 and Thunderstorm from 1957 and The Orphan from 1960. That was, that was the 60s. <coughs> Sixties came to the Green Hornet and 1969 Marlowe for Bruce Lee Bruce Lee's in so small role. Seventies, early seventies this Bruce Lee sounded bright and met this impressive Kung Fu movies and 1973 Bruce Lee died at 32 years old. Nobody could believe what just happened. And Jackie Chan is in Feast of Fur and Enter the Dragon as a stuntman and so is Pia Yuen and Bah Yuen. And Nora Mia is in the big boss Feast of Fur and Pay of the Dragon, but I'm not sure it's Nora Mia in Enter the Dragon, but If I remember right, Angela Mao was in Enter the Dragon. So it is Way of the Dragon, now this 22 gets 10 out of 10. This is the best Bruce Lee movie, because the fights just felt real and everybody cared about this Way of the Dragon movie. And Kikkes movie, 10 out of 10, what more can I say? God, this movie should be still pretty cheap on DVD and other formats. And I have this on DVD, I watched it on my TV. And Bruce Lee was as last 
as fast as lightning, she was so fast in the movie. So yeah, we have to recognize that it end up the best movie I've seen in my life. I was a bit disappointed that Jackson was, was not in way of the dragon, but Jackson would be in Enter the Dragon, and at least one in Seek was in way of the dragon. And Bob Wallen took Norris, and that's really karate champions. Enter the Dragon, Bob Wallen was there, and, but Chuck Norris was not, and Bolo Young. Bolo Young is in Enter the Dragon, and, but he is not in Way of the Dragon or, or previous Bruce Lee movies. Bruce Lee kicks ass in real life on screen, so lots of people looks, him, looks Bruce Lee up as the real martial artist who knew his stuff, okay, but... 